We're gonna actually pass by some places that I've played in the past with uh, Elias, my old band. But as well, we can just kind of see what, what the life is here like, so like the core of downtown. So some places that we've played here, and I'm just going off memory here. There's one place on Talbot Street called the Blackshire Pub. And it no longer exists anymore, but that was a great place for music that, that, that we played at. We played there multiple times. And there's one show that I remember that um, our drummer, Andrew, he used to have a massive drum kit. We weren't actually able to get the drum kit in the back. So the back of the stage was where the drummer was supposed to be, and his drum kit wouldn't fit. So we actually had, had to end up having him out in front of everyone. So and I'll never forget that show because I, I honestly love the change in it. I love the fact that he was up in front and as the center of attention. There's another place on the East Island called Norma Jeans. We've played there multiple times too. That has a lot of memories in there too. We've played Battle of the Bands there. It has a huge stage. The Richmond Tavern, right there. We we have played there as well. That's actually been a great spot for bands to play. It's been consistently supporting local bands. It's been great. Moving on to other places that we've played. There was one place in Toronto called Elmo Combo, which for a lot of people that know the Ontario music scene, that's where a lot of famous bands have played, including the Rolling Stones. And I believe actually that place is no longer around, but I remember playing it and um, one of my favorite shows, very huge stage, very good crowd turnout, um, great bands that we got to meet there. Um, I remember one called Unbound. The, love, the lovely thing about that show with us was they had an arrangement where when the bands finished and the other band uh, set up, they actually had a band to the side playing cover music so that there was always music going, there was no downtime. Uh, that, was, that was a great memory there and I remember, I think being, you know, as a touring musician, um, I think it was like a Saturday and we went to bed like at 4 or 5 in the morning because it was just a long night. We had breakfast and um, that was just kind of the lifestyle there. And the nice thing about Toronto is I think it's great for people that want that nightlife. While we were at 4 a.m. having breakfast, we were actually driving past places. We could we could see that they were still playing live music. They were still, you know, pumping, having parties. So it was, it was pretty cool. Another story I have is about Norma Jeans in Tilsonburg. So there's a Norma Jeans here in London that we played countless times. There's also another one um, in Tilsonburg. And in Tilsonburg, we actually rented a U-Haul to transfer all our stuff over in, in one, in one uh, vehicle. So the thing about the that show in particular was we had, I think, one or two bands play, and by the time we got there, it was rainy. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and it was raining, so while we were getting stuff off the truck, we had to kind of step on the thing and then pull things out. And I lost my footing, so what I ended up doing was grabbing the side of the truck and because it was wet and there was no grip and it was steel. And I also didn't know that it was sharp, so like the edges were dull, which is completely sharp. I just grabbed as hard as I could and sliced my hand open. Tour diary number two, this is actually kind of funny. So we made into Tilsonburg, we battled a storm, we had everything set up on stage, and now we're in the hospital. Because <laughs> Ivan cut his hand open. Still Andrew and I, so we're, we're still kind of rocking around. Ivan, he just went into emergency. It's actually pretty funny. Dean's waiting with our stuff right now, so. Uh, it's uh, 12 o'clock right now, so we're probably not playing tonight. Uh, so signing off from Tilsonburg. <laughs> Tour diary complete. Out. But I was young and stupid, and we ended up playing that show anyhow, with my hand bandaged up and stitched up.